in this assembly tutorial I'm going to talk about variables um, I didn't quite talk about this much in my other ones we kind of just used registries as like our variables and I'm going to show you how to create your own you know first we're going to start with org 100 and n20 at the bottom and let's say we want to write mob ah09h we want to uh, let's say we're um what was that um position cursor let's say we're going to move the cursor to mob ah 2h mob dl 5h mob dh 5h and 10h now let me come on, come on just name this um var so now when we run this going to you know move the cursor to 5 5 and this one in the program let's go ahead and pause it before you end the program mob a 0 8 and 21 h now as you can whoops wrong program um this one as you can see it moves the cursor right there um, let's make it so we can move that cursor with our own variables. So the first thing, we're going to create a main loop. And then we're going to, at the end, we're going to say jump main loop. So this is going to keep on looping. And then we're going to say, um, to define a variable, remember how we had like positions and data like how here, main loops kind of like represents the position and data and how like when we're using the debug um, right here, we had those positions. Well, these are called tags. They represent the position and data. So if we write a tag name, let's name it, um, let's name it var1, or let's just name it x, ux. And we put a tag and put define bytes 5d. That will do the same thing it did in debug. It will define this area of data as um, as um, five, the decimal five. But um, you can also do short and fl the flat assembler. Flat assembler allows you to do shorthand, meaning I can just do that and it will do the same exact thing. Um, it also, well, I want to show you something called reserve bytes since we've done defined bytes before. Reserve bytes is for flat assembler. This will, and remember how we jumped over data? That's kind of what this does. It'll open up a space in data for us. And so it doesn't give it a value, it just opens up that space in data. So I usually just like to open up 32 because that's a good size. So at UX, I'm going to open up 32. And at UY, I'm going to open up 32 um, bytes. Now what we're going to do, and, um, to define a variable, we go to the top and we say how what size what like what size value do we want to move into our variable? So you know you got byte, you got word, d words like the largest, but since we're using small numbers, we're going to go with byte. So we put a byte and then we put these brackets which get the address. We're going to get the address of ux and then we're going to move into there five decimal. And that will put five decimal into UX. Then mob byte UY five decimal. Now let's drag this up here. Now as you can see, it'll move it to five five again. But it doesn't end because it's an endless loop. Now what we can say is we can say something like, oh we gotta do this. To, uh, this is easy, you know, move into DL the address of UX and UY. So these square brackets just get the address. Whoops. That was an accident. As you can see, so 5-5. Five, five. Now what we're going to do, we're going to say, um, after I get the key, pause for a key press, I'm going to say, um, mob AH, um, or we're going to compare AL. Remember AL is what is the, where the key you get stored. Compare AL to say um, the D key. 
if it's equal to the D key, I'm going to jump to move right. And then for move right, I can create something right here. I'm going to create continue, a tag right there. Then I'm going to say, um, I'm going to create move right. And then move right is going to say, I'm going to add into you um, X one and then jump back to continue now when we run this as you can see now when I press D I move right because um, all, the add and sub can be used to um, add and subtract things from your variables so let's use Let's use a move left, and we're going to subtract one, a move up, and we're going to subtract one from y, and a move down, and we're going to add one to y. Now we're going to go up here, and we're going to make more comparisons. Compare with a A, move left, compare with a an S move down and compare with a W move up now as you can see you have like full movement of this cursor now um, instead of storing those things into registries we went ahead and stored them as um, our own little variables so they're slightly different than like in other languages in this we have to actually open up that data you can store anything in that data. Um, this space you open up just as long as it'll fit. You can store strings and everything. But I just wanted to show you this tutorial because I'm considering making this um, a basic game development tutorial.